All right, you're all done eating your turkey, but we want to make sure we use the leftovers and that big carcass. So I'll start out with about a quarter of an onion, a couple of stalks of celery, and a couple of carrots. There's that big carcass now. Let's get it all prepared. We'll start out with our vegetables, just lightly fried in some olive oil, not to overdo it. We'll go ahead and add that big carcass into a pot of water and all the extra trimmings that we can find. Oh, let's add the neck. This is a beautiful, delicious turkey bone broth that we're making. So right there, we're adding in some fresh parsley and a couple of bay leaves and then all of the vegetables that we have going on in our pan. Careful when you're cooking your bone broth, not to over salt it, just a couple of turns and a little dash of pepper. That way, when you're using this bone broth, you're able to salt it up to your personal taste for each individual recipe. That little trick there is a wooden spoon across the top of your pot with the lid. It's going to allow the steam to escape a little bit easier. Right here, I'm gonna proceed on to straining out my bone broth four or five times. And even on the last one or two times, you can even use a coffee filter. That will help you strain and get away a little bit of the grind that's remaining inside that bone broth. Any of the meat that is still remaining, that turkey, you can certainly pull away, chop it up and add it in and make yourself a fresh turkey soup. Once your bone broth is cooled down, you can also do a little trick. Pour it into ice cube trays and freeze it. That way, anytime you need a little bit of broth while you're cooking, you can simply remove as many cubes as you need and add it into your recipe. Please do me a favor as well. Subscribe to the channel. Follow the page. That way, we can continue growing and continue cooking. Boom.